yourself and share with us your testimony. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord in our life. My name is, our name is Mrs. Adeyemi Bridget. Our name is Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Adeyemi Bridget. The master here beside me is my lovely husband. So we are here to testify the goodness of the law in our life. The problem that brought us to the Synagogue Church of All Nations is problem of, of black menstruation and irregular menstruation. For my husband's side, loss of manhood. The problem starts more than five years before we started to look for the solution. Then, well, we start for the solution, we went to hospital. We look for the solution, everything. There is no other. And the doctor said that my own side is infection. So, and they started treating it. No avail. For my husband's side, the same thing. Then we now start going to have to do a lot of this, a lot of things there. Drink a lot of concussion. No avail. So we now decide to come to Synagogue Church of All Nations. So we came down here, we have opportunity to receive anointing water. How did you get to know about the Synagogue Church of All Nations? I know about the Synagogue Church of All Nations. We have Emmanuel TV at home that we used to watch every day. So my husband announced that, Mommy, this place, we can find our solution in this Synagogue Church of All Nations. I now say that it's true, let's go down to that place. So we now came here. They will now have opportunity to receive the anointing water. Then we went back home. So we'll go home. We now pray together. As we pray, then we minister the anointing water. Then immediately, my husband now said that, ah, Mommy, look at me. Oh. My mom who is walking you know. I said, <laughs> So I now tell my husband, Is that true? You are lying. Just now that you minister the anointing water. I said, Let me see it. So, <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, it, it's not a laughing matter. You know what it means for five years. So she has to confirm because sin is believing. But but the Bible says we don't need to see before we believe. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Continue. So, I asked that. Ah, Daddy, let me see it. So. I was about to say, he said the truth, oh, he's not lying. So I was about to say, even me, I'm feeling stomach, we say, ah, what is happening? I said, see, oh, my menstruation has come, and it's very pure, it's red. My husband said, uh-uh, for this anointing water, I will just take just now, say yes. The anointing water, the, the anointing water is really working. My husband now said, ah. So in a few days, we now take the anointing water again. We pray together. Then we met as husband and wife. So I now... <laughs> So, <laughs> so I now conceive. So I now told my husband that ah, I'm feeling too much again. No, now said, okay, let's go to hospital for the checkup. So we went to hospital, but they do this test. They now said that I'm pregnant. So here is the result of the anointing of the anointing water. Then, that, that was the first part of the testimony. Yes. Okay, let's go to part two. <laughs> So, when I'm pregnant, I was here to give testimony. That was September 29. Then I give testimony for the pregnancy. Then after the testimony, a week to deliver, the doctor now discovered that my baby is too small. It's not growing well in my womb. And there's no enough water. The baby is struggling to survive. I tell the doctor that it's a lie. It's a lie. This baby is baby of anointing water. He cannot suffer strongly before he survives. <laughs> that was on the seas of November. That was on the seas of November. So they now tell me that ah, they have to operate me. So they have to operate me. As I know, I cannot operate. Because any child that you receive from Snagot Church of, of, of Foundation, you cannot operate. So I now tell them like that. So I run back home. When I go back when I went back home, 
the broad light and on Emmanuel TV. It, that was on the 13th November. So as the on Emmanuel TV, I now place my hand on my tummy. I place one on Emmanuel TV. So when man of God is praying, I now say that I'm not sure that this man is a real man of God. God, if it happened that this man is a real man of God and I receive this baby in that place, he went to work. That was in the afternoon, around 4 to 5 in the evening time. So immediately, that man of God is praying that you are all over the world. Whatever situation you are in now, be rescued. I rescue you now. Be delivered. I said, Amen. Amen. I want labor to hold me now. Labor should hold me. I was saying like that, and I'm the only one at home. Immediately, heat started coming out of my body. Every part of my body, heat, heat. I don't know what to do again. And I call a friend. A friend called and said, ah, Bridget, what is wrong with you? I said, I don't know. I'm praying with uh, Emmanuel TV. Look at the heat that is worrying me. And I said, let's go to the hospital. I said, no, I'm not going back to that hospital because the same that hospital, they will operate me. I'm not going there. And I said, okay. They will took me to one uh, uh, nurse, whether it's a sign of labor. Because for a hospital, they tell I will see catar blood or water before we deliver. But I did not see anything like that. Is that heat that worry me? When well, they took me to that nurse, the nurse said that ah, I should lie there, it's coming. You know. Where the, uh, the nurse is going, I'm free that I want to poo poo. I thought they push. Mm. So, <laughs> so the nurse ran back again. He said, hey, What is wrong with you, this girl? Ah, you know, uh, wait for me now. I said, Okay. I say again, when the doctor is, my, the nurse is going to say, mm. so that is how the nurse comes. Now, immediately I now see the head of the baby. He said, the head of the baby is coming, it's coming, it's coming out. And now push that, now hold the baby. So. <laughs> that was how you deliver safely. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, before you continue, we can see uh, a medical certificate there. Can you explain that yes. to us? This is the time after the testimony that is a week to deliver. They now say that uh, the baby is not growing anymore. You can even see the place. So you can even see the place. They even stamp a red barrel here for the three places. So they now, if I even took this one to prayer line, they even tell me that ah, there's not enough for what I cannot deliver the baby. And after I say, like, I will deliver the baby safely. And God has done it for me. I deliver my baby safely. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Tell us about your baby. So that's the baby we can see now. Yes, this is the baby. The baby name is baby. God gives a day and God so gives it. It's anointing water that done it for me. Hallelujah. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. Okay, can we hear from your husband? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Our name is Mr. and Mrs. Ademi Emmanuel. So the problem that brought us to this church is the problem of loss of mouth and irregular menstruation. I thank God. And my wife has already said it all. I'm very happy to be a father of person today. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So the baby you are carrying today is a baby boy. Yes, okay. baby boy. A baby boy. Hallelujah. Okay, well, let's start uh, the advice from your end. What word of advice you have for people who are listening to you right now? There are many people who are also waiting for this kind of blessing you have received. What is your word of advice or encouragement for them? My advice for the whole world, whatever situation you are in there, have faith in God, believe in God. No, with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Indeed, with God, all things are possible. So let us hear from the baby's mother. What's, what's your word of advice? My advice for viewers, especially the women, the barren women, they are looking for a child. Just have faith in God. But you have faith in God, there's nothing God cannot do. With God, all things are possible. Mm, hallelujah. Indeed, with God, all things are possible. Let us clap for Jesus. In addition to that, what is your promise to God concerning your baby? I promise God that I will take this baby in the way of the Lord. Mm. And indeed, we pray that God might still give you grace to train up your baby in the way of the Lord so that when he grows up, he will not depart from it. And also to remind you as a family that Christian's home don't just happen. They are built. 
and how can you build a Christian home is by making the word of God the standard for your life and for your family if, if you are healed and delivered blessed by God's word you must be ruled by his word and we can let we can assure you that the best is yet to come in Jesus name Amen Thank you Jesus Clap for Jesus Christ one more time Mesdames et Messieurs, nous écoutons ce merveilleux témoignage de ce couple qui, pendant cinq ans, a eu à faire face à la stérilité. La femme avait des mensurations irrégulières et l'homme avait perdu sa virilité. Il avait une faiblesse sexuelle sévère. Elle a été, ils ont été ensemble dans plusieurs hôpitaux, mais il n'y avait pas de solution. Ils ont même rendu visite à des tradipraticiens. Ces derniers leur ont donné des potions qu'ils ont pris, mais la situation n'avait pas changé jusqu'au moment où une de leurs voisines a eu à les introduire à Emmanuel Télévision. Et par la grâce de Dieu, ils ont réussi par arriver ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Ils se sont procurés de l'eau d'onction et après usage, leurs problèmes ont disparu. Ils ont été totalement restaurés. L'homme a été guéri de, du manque de sa virilité et les, les menstruations de la dame ont commencé par venir normalement. Et pour la grâce de Dieu, elle a conçu et à la, à la, au terme de sa grossesse, elle avait, le médecin a eu à lui dire qu'elle allait subir une opération avant de délivrer, que l'enfant avait cessé de progresser dans son ventre. Elle a prié avec le prophète sur Emmanuel Télévision en touchant l'écran de son poste téléviseur immédiatement le travail a commencé, s'est rendu à l'hôpital et a donné naissance à ce merveilleux petit garçon que nous voyons devant nous pour la gloire de Dieu. Je remercie le Seigneur de les avoir délivrés de leur stérilité. Acabamos de escuchar el testimonio de esa pareja que por cinco años habían sufrido de esterilidad debido a disfunción eréctil y a menstruación irregular en su vida después de cinco años. Estas personas vinieron a la sinagoga y les todas las naciones y fueron orados, adquirieron el agua de unción y después de esto dice que su, su eh, miembro fue restaurado para la gloria de Dios y el flujo menstrual volvió regular en el nombre de Jesucristo y ahora vienen a, a eh, mostrarnos a su bebé después de cinco años. Ahora son los padres orgullosos. 